Well, Marcus, there were some storms yesterday, but all I've seen today is sunshine. So is there going to be any more rain? Yeah, we definitely have a chance of rain through the next couple of hours. Some areas are getting some rainfall this afternoon. It's not as intense and not as great of a coverage as what we had yesterday, but portions out in West Texas, they got hit pretty hard. Let me show you some of those rainfall totals that Katie was just referring to in New Mexico and near El Paso. This is the last three days, and you'll notice that we have had a ton of rainfall over this area near El Paso, picking up almost eight inches. You get back into Southeast New Mexico, close to almost four inches. They've just had a lot of water. It's monsoon season for them and across portions of the Four Corners region. Meanwhile, for us, we have had our share of some heavier rainfall. Look at some of the totals that we've had were estimated by the radar. Nearly three, four inches of rain in portions of Northwest Smith County estimated. We had some pretty intense thunderstorms yesterday. A look at our weather watcher totals. Cumberland Ridge at an inch hideaway, one of our highest totals reported at almost an inch and a half come uh, Emerald Bay at six tenths, the Palestine balloon base just over a half an inch and at Tyler Pounds Regional Airport picking up a little bit more than one and a quarter of an inch of rain. Let's look at the big picture on things that front has slid into the area and now has lifted back to the north. Either way, it has not brought in any dry air. It did bring the storms, though. We continue to monitor Fred yesterday. Carson talked about how this storm was really weakened considerably. It was the remains of Fred and now this storm is re strengthening back into the east central Gulf of Mexico. This storm system continuing on a north and northwest path at 10 miles an hour. It's a tropical storm at this point. Look at the forecast track. It's going to be moving up toward portions near Fort Walton Beach, the panhandle of Florida could even get stronger than 60 miles an hour. We'll see how it plays out. But once it moves on land, it's just going to bring a lot of rain, maybe four plus inches of rainfall for this region over the next 24 to 36 hours. For us here at home, mostly cloudy skies and some of you, like Katie said, you've had more sunshine today and that's reflective on our temperatures. I'll show you where we stand right now. Notice more sun in our southeast areas. You are in the upper 80s and low 90s, but notice Gilmer, Mineola at 79. That's rain cooled because of some of the heavier precipitation that you've seen nearby. These thunderstorms here are not severe, but they are producing some heavier rainfall, especially northeast of Mineola. You notice here near Quitman, this is Highway 154 that runs from Quitman to Gilmer. The heavy rain bands really setting up a couple of lightning strikes. I'm not seeing anything that's severe, though, at the moment. We did have an outflow boundary come through Longview, but it did not produce any precipitation. You have yet to see any over the weekend there. You go back into Anderson County. We've got a heavier thunderstorm in southeast Anderson right along the Houston County line. These are going to be sporadic as we go through the evening hours for us, but we do anticipate them to hang around probably through the mid to late evening since the storms really are not getting going until the last hour or so. Late tonight, most precipitation should let up and we'll transition to a mostly cloudy sky, some additional patchy fog to start tomorrow, and we're going to see more sun tomorrow, and that should help generate additional scattered thunderstorms in our forecast. I'm going to keep the rain chance around mostly through Wednesday, and then things should begin to taper off. I think our next best chance will come Wednesday as we've got another disturbance that'll move through. The temperatures, though, not changing much. Upper 80s and low 90s. It will get hotter by the end of the week and heading into next weekend. For your deep east Texas forecast, we've got a few more storms tomorrow, and then the next best chance most likely coming in on Wednesday. All right. Thank you, Marcus.